in a world full of choices that we have. We not only have to make the choices that are appropriate, that are right, but we also have to follow our heart and do the things that makes us feel happy and proud. And what is very important is the balance, the balance that we will strike between these two, the things that we need to do and the things that we want to do. And therefore, students, the holistic approach. Unless you take a holistic approach to the goals of your life, I don't think you're winning it. And even if you're winning it, I think the consequences of reaching there is too high. There is stress, there is anxiety, and the balance is missing. Unless you bring balance to your very existence, I think it's a lost battle. So today, as we begin this video, let me ask you a few questions. In your physics, chemistry, biology, uh, how many chapters have you started studying? Like really, how many have you started studying? College mein kitna hua hai? Classes mein kitna hua hai? Aur aapka kitna hua hai? And what is important is to do a detailed SWOT analysis of the same. What is SWOT analysis? To know what is your strength in that chapter. Kabhi kabhi aisa hota na ki ek chapter ko dekhe aapko malume ki iska sab kuch aata hai. I know everything in that chapter. Some chapters are weak. In some chapters, you have threats because you don't have someone to teach you, you find it difficult, maybe it's because in 11th standard you've left something. So there are more threats. In some chapters, you'll have opportunities. Even though you don't know it, you know that, oh, I have a mentor, oh, I have a teacher who can help me. So there is always these four components which is very important and crucial when you look at every aspect of life. Strength, weakness, opportunities and threat. That's what makes the SWOT. So here's what the deal is. Write down the list of chapters of every subject. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4. And to the right of it, write down the first column, Strength, Weakness, Opportunities, Threat. So let's say Chapter 1. You say, I know everything of this chapter. So this chapter becomes your strength. Maybe the next chapter you will say, I know shit about this chapter. That's your weakness. Now with the weakness, write down the opportunities. Can you seek sakta hai? Is there somebody who can teach you? So put down the threats, put down the weaknesses, put, put, down, put it all down there. And unless you work on every chapter, from the SWOT point of view, uh, you will not be able to decode the secrets that will enable you to get the marks that you want to get. And once you do the SWOT, you get a level closer, a level deeper into understanding why are you getting less marks or why are you getting more marks? You get closer to understand that ye chapter itna padne ke bawajud bhi marks kyu nahi mil raha hai and some chapters thoda padne se bhi marks aa jata hai. The answers to many of these questions lie in the SWOT which you will be conducting. So are you going to do the SWOT and are you going to write and tell me that you've done the SWOT? Um, I, ha I have a lot of questions that I'm going to ask you in this video. Tell me if you're okay answering those questions and write down in the comment section or maybe on Instagram and tell me what the answers are. First, what are your goals? Like really, what are your goals? And you can have three, four goals. You can say, I need to get this percentage. I need to score this much. You can say, I need to um, 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 get admission into this particular college. So really, what are your goals? The second important question is, whose goals are these? When did these goals become a part of your life? From when have you started chasing these goals? Kya ye vake mein aapka goals hai? Ya ye kisi aur ka goals hai? Do you really feel for these goals? Are you passionate about these goals? Are you compassionate about these goals? Do these goals make you work hard? Or are they borrowed goals? Are they goals that you're struggling with? Now I believe if your goals have the right value, I believe if you are seriously and genuinely interested in your goal, you will find the way. You will always find that way and not only find the way, you will be on the way. But times when you get deterred, times when you get deviated, times when you get tired are the times that you feel that the goal is not worth paying the price of your concentration, of your hard work, of your efforts, etc. So you may be somebody in the 11th standard, you may be somebody in the 12th, you may be somebody who's taken a drop here. Um, on this timeline, where are you? Uh, it doesn't really matter where you are, all, ma all that matters is uh, there's a kind of hours that you need to put in and there's a kind of study that you need to do. My question is, are you on track? If not, what is stopping you? If yes, what is your motivation? Find your motivation, double it, duplicate it, enhance it, enhance it, increase it. If you find that there is distraction, then find out what is the reason that you are distracted? What is the real reason that, that you are affected with it? That, that's important to find out because unless you find that out, you're not able to find out what your real answers are. 
By the way, let me ask you a tough question. How many hours in a day do you study? And when you say you study, do you study or do you complete journals? Do you do the homework? Do you do something else? Do you do something else? Padhai, is it genuine padhai or is it some kind of compromise? Now you all know we have 24 hours in a day. If you have to divide these 24 hours into three parts, you will get eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. I say the first eight hours don't touch. That's dedicated to your sleep time. That's dedicated to a time where you have to rest, rejuvenate and come back. It's like a booting system. The remaining eight plus eight hours, ke andar aapko dunya ka sab kuch karna hai. you have to study, you have to go to college, you have to play, you have to meditate, you have to pray, you have to eat well, you have to exercise, sab kuch. Now, there would be students who will tell me that, sir, time nahi mil raha. I mean, time tab nahi milta hai jab ye goal aapka nahi hai aur aapko hard work bahut zyada lagta hai. But if it is your goal, I'm telling you, you will not only find the way, but you'll also be on the way. So my question to you again is, is this your goal and are you willing to give yourself everything that it takes every day so that you are online and use those 16 hours? What are the negotiables on those 16 hours and what are the non-negotiables? Matlab, rozana char ghanta padna hai, this is not negotiable. This cannot be negotiated and therefore you will study every day for those four hours. I don't know if four hours is good enough. But if it is, and if it is not negotiable, you should do that. Find out the non-negotiables of your life and do not negotiate. Find out the negotiables of your life and push it. So, you know, I remember a time when I was in college <coughs> and we have to complete a journal in college. So I realized that journal complete karna is such a waste of time. And I didn't have a great handwriting back then. Um, I don't think I have a great handwriting even today. Uh, and and I, I understood that journal अच्छे से लिखने से marks मिलता है teacher को impress करना पड़ता है and all that all that stuff so I had a neighbor a friend of mine whom I had I had asked her would she write my journals and for every journal she wrote I had given her some some bunch of dairy milk chocolates so I would have done these things in my life and I still do it things that are negotiable can either be delegated or can be deleted. Find out if there are certain things that's consuming your time and not adding value to your academic life. See if it can be deleted or see if it can be delegated. If yes, that's the first thing you should do. If yes, that's something which you should do quickest. Do everything that it takes to save time. Do everything that it takes to save time. If you can save time, I think you've achieved a lot of things because time is everything, right? And use that time to do what is non-negotiable for you. In your case, it could be studies. Whatever you do, remember excuses will not help you reach on top. There may be a hell lot of reasons why things don't go your way. There could be A problem, B problem, C problem, college ka time, travel time, journal, homework, assignments, blah, 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 blah. There will be thousands of problems. But problems pe focus karne se, aap problems ko multiply karoge, solutions pe focus karne se, solutions ko multiply karoge. What do you want at this point in time? You need more time, so focus on that. Focus on things that you really want and my question is, where is the locus of your focus? Well, are you liking this video? If yes, like it, share it, comment below. You know, this is a dialogue which I hate saying. But I think the Merit Store team insists that I should be saying this dialogue regularly. That like the video, share the video, <laughs> comment on the video. What do you think about this dialogue? You know, I, I think every YouTuber uh, says that and I find it very cliche. Uh, do you think I should say that?